It's the Betty White Show from Hollywood. This portion brought to you by RDX, the safe way to lose ugly fat, yet still eat what you want. And Geritol, America's number one tonic that helps you feel stronger fast. Now here's Betty White. It's time to say hello again And start our show again And sing a song or two for all of you Hi. Hi. And happy Monday to you I hope this is a very extra special Monday for you As it is for us because today is wish day And that's always extra good news for us First of all, however, you know, reducing can be a hardship But it doesn't have to be if you've been advised to lose weight, why don't you try this simple, easy way? What's the best way to reduce? Eat what you want or starve yourself? Starve yourself? Wrong. A half-empty stomach causes hunger tantrums. Now you can avoid hunger tantrums, lose weight naturally and fast. With the RDX Full Stomach Reducing Plan, you fill your stomach, yet fat just seems to melt away. And safe, pleasant-tasting RDX tablets contain no dangerous drugs, no hormones. So if you want to eat and lose fat, get RDX at your drugstore today. Isn't that good advice? I hope you follow it. Well, we feel so good around here today. We all sort of have a lot of excess energy to burn off. And, and we also have a couple of fellows that have just insisted finally. They said, if we don't get a chance to be on camera all by ourselves without the rest of the band, we're going to sulk. And we can't have them sulk. So Eddie Robertson and Rock Hillman have to come in and help me with this number. This is how we feel today. It's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day for moving along. It's a good day, how can anything go wrong? Cause it's a good day from morning till night. It's a good day for shining your shoes, and it's a good day for losing the blues. Everything to gain and nothing to lose. It's a good day from morning till night. I said to the sun, good morning, sun, rise and shine today. Oh, you gotta get going if you're gonna make a showing, and you've got to right away. It's a good, good day for curing your ills, and it's a good day for paying your bills. So take a deep breath and throw away your pills, cause it's a good day from morning till night. It's a good day from morning till night. It's a good day from morning till night. I like that curtsy that Eddie does. It's real nice. And it is a good day today, too. Mondays can be one of two kinds. They can either be sort of difficult days to, to get awake and, and get on your way and get going, or they can be horribly difficult days to get awake and get going. So this is one of the ones that isn't quite so bad. Mrs. Arthur Peterson of Taylor Falls, Minnesota, <laughs> sends in the, the farmer, says, this is the laziest rooster in the world. And the city friend says, oh, how do you mean lazy? Farmer says, he's never crowed in his life. He always waits for another rooster to crow, and then he stands there and nods his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a silly picture department. And then from Perry, Iowa, from Rosemary Slater, we have the one about the little girl on the transcontinental train. She says, Mama, what's the name of the last station we stopped at? Her mother says, don't bother me. Can't you see I'm reading? Why do you ask? Because brother got off there. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay Melliker, 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 I think, of Manitowoc, Wisconsin, says, the wife says, the couple next door seem to be very devoted. He kisses her every time they meet. Why don't you do that? The husband says, I say, do you think she'd let me? <laughs> <laughs> and today, you know, is an extra special day for us. This is wish day. And we always enjoy it so particularly because it's kind of fun to surprise small fry. And today, uh, as every wish day, we have one of the youngsters from one of the children's homes around Los Angeles. And today happens to be a young lady, Betty Hartman, from David and Margaret's Home for Children in Laverne, California. Well, Betty can't hear me right now, but she thinks that she's coming on the program to make a presentation uh, representing all the children of America to the representative from the British consulate in honor of Winston Churchill's birthday tomorrow. So she thinks that that's why she's coming over here and she's going to have a little interview and make her presentation and then that will be it. 
So from there on, we're going to see how many wishes we can surprise her with and how many of her wishes we can make come true. So stick around with us, will you, for a little while? It's always a lot of fun. And some of the, the children are, well, I won't say some of them. They're all tremendous, but some are a little bit more uh, enthusiastic than others, and I don't know which are the most fun. I think sometimes the ones that are just flabbergasted and can't say a word are, are even more fun than the others. Let's see what kind of a little girl Betty is today. Oh, I have a riddle. What are you going to do? Anybody feel in the mood for a riddle? No. Nope. Well, that does that. We were <laughs> No, what's the difference between a sewing machine and a kiss? I don't all talk at once. I know the difference, but you don't want that answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bill, I don't think I do. <laughs> Can you guess, anybody? Stitch in time saves nine. <laughs> well, it depends on your point of view, but it could be. Anybody? Just so-so. Well, you're, you're getting warm. Cliff, do you have any ideas? Nary a one. Well, one so seems nice and the other seems so nice. Honestly, you just would think these fellas would know. Wouldn't you think so? Thank you for you. We love all the jokes and the goodies and the, and the serious poems and everything. But we especially like the riddles, too, because it's always a chance for us to be real smart and the fellas to be real stupid. Because I've got the paper in my hand with the answer on it. Let's talk about you a little bit. How are you feeling? Are you, are you feeling as good as we feel today? I sincerely hope so. But I'd especially like to talk to you housewives and mothers and you really busy gals that, that just keep going all the time. Sometimes as you go about your daily routine, you get the feeling that you just don't have enough energy to finish out the day. Well, if you do feel that way or anybody in your family feels that way, don't just ignore it and wait for it to go away. It's a better idea to check with your doctor. Because remember, that weak, rundown condition may be due to undernourished blood. Doctors have a special name for it. They call it iron deficiency anemia. But we call it tired blood. And to feel stronger fast, I wish you'd give Geritol a try. This is the fast-acting, high-potency tonic that we've been telling you so much about that really begins to strengthen iron-poor, tired blood in just 24 hours. That's all it takes just one day for Geritol iron to be in your bloodstream, carrying strength and energy to every part of your body. And just two tablespoons, just this little bit, contains twice the iron in a pound of calf's liver. And it's good tasting, too. So if you do feel weak and run down, or if anybody in your family complains of similar problems, get Geritol, either the liquid or the tablets, at your drugstore today. You'll feel stronger fast in seven days or your money back. Just be sure that you get what you ask for, Geritol, G-E-R-I-T-O-L. Believe me, you will feel stronger fast. And two, don't forget, mothers, you can get Geritol Jr. It's just as effective for your children as regular Geritol is for you. That's really good advice. Arthur, did you have a nice weekend? Sure did. The usual weekend. What's the usual weekend? Well, the benefit. And <laughs> <laughs> Working. I did something a little different. I rehearsed with a... Uh, choral group that's going to do Christmas carols this Christmas. Oh, wonderful. You're going around from house to house, or? I think their plan is to go to hospitals and uh, orphanages and things of that nature. Well, that's a wonderful thing to do for, for Christmas season, Arthur. Arthur's all set for his number today. This is a fine number for him to do when he was rehearsing Christmas carols all day yesterday. Arthur Duncan and Sing You Sinners. <laughs> Drop everything and let the harmony ring up to heaven. Sing, sing you sinners, just wave your arms all about. Let the Lord hear you shout for that music. Sing, you sinners, whenever there's music, the devil kicks. He don't know music by that river. And you're depraved And you also misbehave If you 
you wanna be Sing, you sinner Everybody was really going with that one. Did you hear Eddie Robertson? He just flipped himself completely. That did it. Woo! <laughs> we have a communique here from the Drag Bottom and Tea Kettle Gulch Street Railway and Brewing Company, Root of the Thunder Mug Limited, from Dorothy Bushy Bass, <laughs> signed Dottie Bass from Canton, Ohio. And she says, Dear Betty, for the first time in weeks, I didn't have your program turned on today, and I've been informed by various friends that Frank Duvall claimed that I was his first date. This is rather an embarrassing situation, as I don't remember our first date, but I do certainly remember dates that followed. For instance, we used to go to Lowe's Theater here in Canton, where Herman Duvall, Frank's dad, was the orchestra leader. That was back in the dear old days of vaudeville. For the information of you younger people, that was the name given to the people that came right out on the stage in movie theaters and braved the audiences. And Frank used to sit there and criticize his dad and his orchestra for lagging behind the act then on the stage. He used to sit there and say, he's a whole beat off. Come on, Dad, speed up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Dottie Best. You just never know when your whole past is going to be brought out around here. You know something? Every so often there comes a chance for, for us to do something for you that will help you. But at the same time, for you to do something for us that will help us. And... It's sort of a, of a mutual society here th of helping each other, and you've never let us down in all the, all the time that we've been with you. And I hope that that is because we haven't let you down in any offer we've made either. We are more than proud of our sponsors around here. You know that. And as you also know, they sponsor several other programs. Well, the only way that they can tell how many of you are buying the product uh, because of this particular program is to make a, a, an offer on this program alone. And when that offer's a good one, then we're very, very happy to pass the word along to you. And by your taking advantage of that offer, you help us tremendously with our sponsor. For instance, have you, have you been advised by your doctor to lose weight? Would you like to see a, a new, slimmer, lovelier you in just one week? Well, if so, why don't you take advantage of this, of this free offer? We would like to send you a little 40-page booklet called The Seven-Day Reducing Diet. It's written by Victor H. Lindlar, the famous food authority, and it's, it's just a wonderful help to you in your weight reduction. It seems to help excess weight just melt away while you eat many of the foods that you like, even delicious desserts. I know that sounds impossible, but it's true. It isn't a bit impossible. Thousands have say, said that they've done it, and there's no reason why you can't, too. So... I wish you would send in for this seven-day reducing diet by Victor H. Lindlar. And in seven days, you'll take off some of that weight you're worrying about putting on over the holidays. Why don't you get your weight down now? You won't have to worry so much during the holidays. All you do to get your free booklet is send your name and address to Betty White, Box 212, New York 46, New York. Send 10 cents for postage and handling, and the booklet will be sent to you immediately. This is a limited offer, so send right now while you're thinking about it. To Betty White... Box 212. The second half of the Betty White Show in just a moment. Right now, station identification. <laughs> 